Hi, my name is Colin Cavalancio. I'm an account manager for MSP360. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up managed backup service. We're gonna be setting up a storage account, a company and user profile, setting up the first backup agent, and creating our first backup plan. So as I said, our first step is gonna be associating a storage account. You're gonna click the top left portion of the nav bar, click storage and storage accounts. Select your uh, storage provider here. We're gonna be going with Wasabi today. For the display name, it's purely going to be for an internal use on the web portal. Feel free to call this what you'd like. And for Wasabi, it will need an access key and secret key. We're gonna head over to our Wasabi web console and generate those keys. Copy both of these over. Again, the display name is going to be for internal use case. The backup destination, this is actually going to be the bucket within the Wasabi console we just connected to. Feel free to call this what you'd like. And select the region. You'll note on the bottom, the new bucket name. You can edit this bucket name by clicking the show advanced settings. Something also to note is that the bucket name itself, please use only lowercase, no special characters, no spaces. This is your first time setting up. You will not have any company profiles or user profiles yet. Please feel free to bypass this. And click save once you're done verifying that this looks good to you. After that, we're gonna be creating a company profile and user profile. You'll click the users portion of the nav bar, click companies. We're gonna be creating our company. This is purely for internal use. There's no functionality within the company itself. Uh, this is just to organize the web portal itself. Again, we're gonna be associating a user profile with this company profile we just created. The only required inputs that you need to do is the user account, the initial password, and specify the uh, company that we just created, the cloud account that we just created, and the bucket. You can edit the initial password. Something to note on the setup process of installing backup agents on endpoints and associating it with the user profile is you do not need these credentials to associate that. I uh, will touch on that in a second. Once you verified everything looks good, click save. After we have our company and user profile associated, we're gonna download the backup agent. Head over to the download section on the nav bar. If you do not see your operating system here, you simply just click this get more button and you will have options to generate different operating system builds. When you do see your build, you just click this public version and it'll immediately start downloading. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna execute that file. You're gonna go through the setup wizard. After that, we're gonna see the backup agent pull up and it's also going to pull up uh, credentials. It's going to want to uh, for you to log in with that user profile that we just created. However, you do, you do not need to do that. And there we go. Again, as I said, uh, when that backup agent does run, you're gonna minimize it, come back to this web portal. We're gonna head over to RMM, Remote Management. And you'll see that that desktop has popped up here. All you have to do is click user, add user account. We're gonna associate it with that user profile we just created. And the license type does look good, but however, you can select the dropdown and select which license type you're trying to operate with. As you can also see that since we associated with that demo user profile, you'll see that the Wasabi cloud destination has been associated with this endpoint now.
technically speaking, you are up and running. You are connected to that endpoint and able to create backup and restoration plans for it. How to start that process uh, both to access both backup and restoration. You're going to click this computer name right here on the left side, and the plans will show up on the right. These are previously made plans for the backup uh, for the endpoint itself. However, to create new ones, you'll just click this plus button. The plans shown here are dependent on your license type. I'm operating, I'm operating with a desktop server license, so I have a file and image-based backup of availability. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a file backup. Something to note is you can save these plans and actually uh, deploy them to multiple endpoints, uh, user profiles, and company profiles. That will be touched on in a different video. We're going to give it a plan name, select our backup source. Our storage is going to automatically assume that we're going to be uh, specifying to our Wasabi Cloud Bucket. If you do have a hybrid backup or a local file destination as well, you can associate that here. For the advanced filters, if you'd like to exclude anything from your selection, you can do that here. We do offer compression and encryption for all of our backups. Compressing will reduce data 20 to 40% held in the cloud. And we do offer three different levels of encryption. Something to note, if you do enable encryption and specify a password here, you do need that password saved locally somewhere. Uh, this is non-accessible. Once you save this backup plan, you will not be able to see what your encryption password is. For today, we're going to be using the default retention policy. But if you do have a uh, custom retention, which majority of our clients do, uh, please feel free to specify a custom retention policy. We're going to be running this manually for today's test, but you can absolutely schedule out uh, how, how frequent you'd like your backups to, to run. If there's any scripts or commands you'd like to run beforehand or after the backup job, you can specify in the pre and post action section. And at the end of the plan, you'll see the notification section uh, to be notified when the backup completes, fails, or in all cases. Once it all looks good, click Save. And we're going to find our plan right here. Demo plan is what we created. Simply just click that Play button, and you'll see that the plan has been started. And success. That is it.